What's going on YouTube? This is iTalkFortnite here and in today's video we have a brand new video. So today we're actually going to discuss a few things about the Battle Pass that came out for Season 6 and I just had some ideas about it and I wanted to know what you guys think about it. So the two new things that we got in the Season 6 Battle Pass was pets and music tracks. Now currently we only have three pets and we only have three music tracks. And I'm also going to throw toys in this as well even though that's not new. We had this in Season 5. But I just had a thought, because we we have so little of these things, we only have three music tracks, three pets, and four toys now, do you think that these things could be sold in the item shop? Now, it makes kind of sense to me, because we do, we did, we did see a contrail sold with the Ravage skin, so maybe they could sell us the music tracks and toys and pets later on down the road. I don't know, I just thought that would be an interesting idea to let you guys think about, because it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, they might not do that, and this is just going to be the norm for every single battle pass moving forward, because season four we got the sprays, and you know, and then in season two we got the, you know, the throw up uh, I uh, emotes. So, I think it's just gonna stay with the Battle Pass, but would you guys actually pay to get more pets and more toys? Like, I don't know. Or, or more music tracks. I don't know. I think it'd be a really cool idea. They could literally sell us on anything, really, in terms of music tracks, toys, and pets. It really doesn't matter, but... I think what they did with this Battle Pass, including new stuff, was a great addition. I mentioned in my What I Want for Season 6 video, I mentioned that I was kind of annoyed how there were so many sprays, and there were so many icons, and there were so many, like, throw emotes, but now we actually have some variety. We have all of that, but we also have pets, music tracks, and toys, and it's good. I, I think that's honestly a really good thing. And uh, I love the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass this season was not terrible. I thought it was really good. And I'm excited to just grind it out. And I hope you guys are too. Uh, second thing I wanted to talk about is that the Eon skin was actually legit. I thought that this skin was not even close to legit. Mainly because it's a re recolor of the Criterion skin. And yeah, they are known to recolor skins and stuff like that. But I mean, it looked so, so photoshopped. And the fact that the the icon, the, the Fortnite icon on the top left looked like it was easily photoshopped in. It's legit. It's, it's part of the Xbox One S bundle. You get, you buy this Xbox One S brand new, you get the Eon skin and 2000 V-Bucks. I don't know how much the Xbox is going to be. I think it's going to be about like $500. I have an Xbox One. I may, I'm, I may just trade that in if I can get a Xbox One S cheaper. I might do that. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the skin. Like I said in my top 10 skins that I don't like that everyone else seems to like video. I don't like any of the robot skins if I'm being honest with you. I don't like any of them. So I don't even like this one, but I mean, I like exclusive skins. You know what I mean? So it'd be kind of cool to have it on my account, I guess. And lastly, Shadow Stones actually were taken out of the game because someone was exploiting an invisibility glitch with it, but they have just been brought back to the game, so that's good. And now the Porta Fortress has now been removed, and that's because whenever you throw down a Porta Fortress, it tends to lag the game, and they're trying to work on a fix for that, so that's good. Hopefully that the Porta Fortress comes back soon. And that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. If you did, let me know with a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell just so you get all my latest uploads. Comment down below. Would you pay for pets, music tracks, and or toys in the item shop? I would love to know what you guys think about it. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite and join the Discord. Have a good one, guys. See ya.